I am Coach Ricky. Welcome to Kettlebell Classic. I hope you're ready for another awesome workout. We're going to really get after it today. We got some stuff for the glutes. We got some stuff for the core. We got arms. We got everything involved today. It's going to be awesome. As always, you start out with ourselves in cat cow. Big breaths in. Filling that belly with air. Squeezing it as going through, getting as much flexion as you can through the spine. Oh, yeah. Hope you're ready for this today. Trying to get some nice weather here. Down in Portland, I'm very excited about it. Oh, yeah. As always, you know, we start here. Do a little warm up. Spine the abdominals. Oh. Do more right here. If you're just kind of like flopping up and down, you're not getting the benefits of this exercise. You really want to. Fill that cavity with, with oxygen, feel your spine curve. Exhale through, really press out. Oh, yeah. All right, from here, we're moving to our cat cows. Here, we're working on the structure of the spine. So, keeping everything nice and tight. Exhaling, inhaling. Nice, nice, nice. With these exhales, while you're pressing back with the foot, getting that thumb up, working on that thoracic mobility in the spine. You don't need arching or getting everything too crazy, just making a nice straight line every move. Exhaling through, creating that pressure in the abdominals. Warming up those shoulders. That nice press out. Firing that glute in that leg nice and straight, driving that toe to the heel. Or to the knee, I should say. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Woo! Grab my 20 pound bell here. And we're gonna start out with just doing some roundabouts. Today, for workout, three minute timer on all the moves, nice and straightforward. We got pendulum swings, kettlebell tap, push-ups if you feel like it, gorilla rows, squat, catch, which I think I have the name of that right, but I probably don't. After that, we're doing lateral bear crawls, which, whew, hope you're ready for those. From there, we're doing single leg Romanian deadlifts, and then finally, we're gonna do some tabletop, really get our low back and arms into some really fun positions. It's gonna be great. So I hope you're ready. I'm feeling ready. Oh. Woo. So we're gonna start out with pendulums for the pendulum swing. Pull in, up, and then we're switching hands. I'm gonna get the timer going. I hope you folks are all ready. Nice, nice, nice. All right, grab your kettlebells. Here, wait for the buzzer. And go. Now, if this is your first time doing a pendulum swing. You'll see, I'm keeping my thumb forward. My knees are close together. I'm only swinging once the bell is hitting my ab, hitting my abdominals, and I'm keeping that arm nice and tight in with my swing. Whew. Now this is kind of a warm up in a lot of ways. So if you're using like a super heavy bell and you're not able to keep up, then just do a few, put it down, shake it out. Come back, 
Maybe you're just shooting down through six. Four, five, six. I didn't call it. I'm going to switch up to my heavier bell because I want to get after it today. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Remember, with this style of training, we got three minutes to do as many reps as you can. So, for yourself, whatever it is that you can do in this time, go for it. Woo. Maybe you're just feeling for your muscles to be like, okay, we got to take a break. Maybe you're shooting for sets of 10. I don't really know. Ugh. For myself, I like just kind of going based off feel and kind of letting the music drive my action, you know? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Under a minute left. Put that down for a little bit. Check it out. Woo. All right. Uh. Nice people, nice. Coming down to that 30 second mark. Fifteen seconds. Oh wait, that was twelve. <laughs> three, two. Wait, three, two, one. Woo! Okay. Kettlebell push-up tap. So get the bell out in front of you. Now, if we're just doing taps, you're just tapping back and forth, trying to keeping your body from moving too much. You don't be like rocking the hips here. You want to be keeping everything stable. Now, if you want to, you can also throw in a push-up. Hopefully this doesn't sound too weird on the microphone. <laughs> I'll just see that in post. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. All right, the closer your feet are together, the harder keeping stable with the taps is going to be. Whew. The further apart they are, the easier it's going to be. Whew. Okay. Well, my heart rate's up. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna shoot for set 12. See how we do. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! Oh man, okay. I hope I can get episode twelve in before time stops. Well, let's sign it out. One, two. Don't lose your tempo for speed. 
strength is all about control. You're better off focusing on good muscular control than you are trying to do it fast and willy nilly. Good push ups, keeping those hips up, bringing that nose down. Woo, okay. Oh, gorilla robes. Take a kettlebell. We stand over it. Pulling back. Switch. Back. Switch. You see here, keep my back flat. I'm pulling into my back and down. Using a bit of a rocker in my shoulder, engaging those obliques. Woo. 10 with a 20. Let's get the 40 involved. Because why not? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh. Try to use your breath. Inhale. Exhale through the move. Inhale down. If you're starting to get weirdness in your low back, you're probably not keeping your back flat enough. You want to get yourself nice and engaged. Sit down, make sure your knees are getting too far forward, that your glutes are firing. Protect that lower back. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Almost at the 30 second mark. Gonna keep pounding these out. How are you doing out there? Are you still crushing it? I hope so. Almost there, come on. Woo! Nice, nice, nice. All right, squat, catch. We come here. Catch, down, and down. Woo. Catch, squat, down. Woo. Grab, catch, squat, down. Lots of movement in the hips here. Woo. With this one, as you're holding the bell, Pull it apart, get that chest up. We don't want to be sag forward and arching our back. We want to keep everything nice and tight. Oh, 
There's a lot of parts to this one. If you're like feeling a little overwhelmed, that's fine. Just get yourself set up. Brace, exhale, so again, and down. All right, I'm about 40. We're almost there, folks. 55. Oh, wait, no. That was 22. Oh, I gotta remember that that clock is backwards. Whew. 10 seconds. Four seconds. All right. Bear crawls. We're gonna be doing them laterally. Come to a part of your mat. We crawl right, left. Well, that would take you left, right. Woo. You'll find what works for you as far as the movement back and forth. You don't need to travel that far, but you do want to keep your knees low. Try to keep that back engaged. Feel your core fire. You gotta take a break. This is like rushing you. Take a break. As far as strength goes, this is one of those fundamental movements that we can do moving laterally like this. Super good for your hips, super good for your shoulders. Try to keep your lats engaged. We don't want to be like up here and our ass up. You know, this isn't a down dog cross crawl. This is a bear crawl. Staying low, Woo. keeping engaged. Ugh. What's hurt first? Is it your shoulders? Is it your core? Is your quads firing? Oh, oh almost there. Holy Lord. Oh. That was like two minutes. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, keep going, Ricky. You got this. So strong, so wise. Huh. After this is already out. So much nicer. Huh. Well, in like a different way. However, just because I'm doing this doesn't mean that you can't take breaks. You have total right to try to take breaks. Do 10 of these. Go back and forth once. Reset. Oh, thank the Lord. Okay, next move. Single leg RDLs. We're going to do five on one side, five on the other side. So with here, 
Balance on one leg, slide down to the knee. I'm hinging on my hip, coming down and up. You can have your legs straight. You can keep it slightly bent. But the key here is that I'm just pivoting here on my hip. Whew. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Okay. Now, if you feel up to it, we incorporate in the kettlebell. So we hold the bell, we come down, and up. If your bell is like only 30 pounds or like 40 pounds, this might not be the best exercise to add weight to. And if you are, maybe all you're doing is coming here and up, down and up. Because the range of motion as the bell comes out further, is just gonna suffer with the extra weight. And I'd rather see you with really good form than just big, using big weight and bending at the at your waist. You want to keep the RDL intact. Switching sides. Go forward. Here we go. Hmm. No one's joined yet. For shame, Instagram. For shame. What are you doing? Eat dinner? Woo, keep going, keep going. Hell yeah. Almost there, go on. One more side. And that's why. Woo. Okay. Last thing, tabletop. Comes all fours. Hands back. We press up, squeezing those glutes through and back down. Woo. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. All right, taking a bit of a breather. Okay, okay. Ooh. We're almost there. We're almost done. Feel like really feeling fried. Good for you. Need to put in the work. Now, if you're having trouble doing this, this is the position, what you can do is just come back and just do glute bridges. But we want to try to do it with the full tabletop. Coming up into a box, hang my arms back a bit, and then back down.
Nice, everyone. Come on. Ooh. Oh, man. Almost at 40 seconds. Okay. I got another 10 in me. You got another 10 in you? Are you still going? Are you still pushing it? I hope so. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, oh ooh wee. And that's two seconds of five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! That's class, everybody. Congratulations. You've made it through. I hope you're feeling great. We're going to do a little bit of stretching. First and foremost, we'll start here. Oh, stretching out our low back. Walking to one side. Big inhale and exhale down. Doing that stretch of the lats. Inhale up, walk over to the other side. Exhale. Really feel that deep compression through. Other side, one more time, back and forth. Exhale. Up, over, down. After that, we'll do some active pigeon pose. Coming up, sitting down through the glute. We don't want to lean forward. We just want to let the weight of our hips dig down. Feeling that stretch right in the tuchus. Inhale, switch legs, exhale. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna do just some shoulder rolls here. Trying to give myself oh, whew, some love. But that was a great class. Hope you all enjoyed it. I certainly did. This has been Kettlebell Classic. I'm Coach Ricky. We're here every Tuesday and Thursday, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. Hope to see you next time. Peace, follow the link in the bio. Like and subscribe, all those other fun things. Ba 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 bam.